Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kat, or Ask Kitten, and today I actually have some products to review that I just got in the mail. So I posted a video, I think it was, yeah, last week, um, about some of the new stuff that just came out for spring with spring makeup, and I actually ordered three of the cream blushes from Melt. And I'm so excited to review them. Okay, so I haven't put anything on my cheeks, and I actually haven't swatched these at all, so this should be pretty interesting. I, I know they're gonna be good. Like, I already know they're gonna be good because I love um, the other, almost dropped it, the other ones that I have from Melt, but like, so this is Cali Dream. This is what it looks like. So it's a bit peachy, um, which I like. I'm not sure, like I have kind of like peach makeup on today, so. I don't know which one I'm gonna use. So we'll we'll see about that in a minute. Alright, this one is Sandy Cheeks. So this one's like more of like a pinky peach. As you can see. And it's also like a little bit orange, which I like. Because I've been getting more into like oranges lately. And the last one I have is Daydreamer. And this is that like really pretty, like deep color. That I've been trying to get my hands on for like ever but for some reason everyone just like buys them outright so I never can get them all right so we're gonna do some like live swatches since I've never swatched this before so this is gonna be like really fun all right so I'm gonna start off with daydreamer Ooh. Wow. okay so one thing I like about this is that it's wow okay yeah, this is good. Okay, so it's not stiff in the pan at all. It's really fluid and it like moves really easily. You can like easily put it on your finger as you can tell. It's really nice. I like that. So yeah, um, I'm already loving this. So I'm gonna go. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Okay, so this is just a first swatch. That's what it looks like. I. I like adore that. I'm not, it's probably not going to focus on me because, well, it's not going to focus on my wrist because it's focused on me. Um, but yeah, I, this feels good. This feels really good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I love this. <laughs> I really, wow. It doesn't feel greasy, which is like one thing I can't stand about like sun cream blushes. They just feel like really greasy on the skin and that's like disgusting. So I'm looking for my cotton swab. So I'm gonna clean my finger so I'm not getting little colorful fingerprints everywhere because no one likes that. All right, so this one is Sandy Cheeks. So again, it's the same type of consistency. So this one doesn't have any of those micro glitters in it like the other one that I just watched did. So, and that one of course is Daydreamer. So it doesn't have any of the micro glitters in it. So you're gonna get more of like that bold color payoff without that like, um, what is it, that highlighter accent to it. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Oh my goodness. That is nice. What does it smell like? It smells kind of like Play-Doh. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm weird. Yeah, it smells like Play-Doh. But it feels good. <laughs> so yeah, this is what Sandy Cheeks looks like. I really like that. It feels so good on the skin. Well, let me tap it in. Just to see, yeah. So it's really easy to blend. Like literally you just tap it in and you go. That's nice. That gives you like a really nice finish. All right, I'm glad I got three. <laughs> I'm really glad I got three. I know it's excessive and like I'm a hoarder, but I like to see just like how different shades of different products like well no different shades of the same products i like to see how they are and how they perform because like sometimes if you just get one you may not know like well maybe it's a different formulation with a different color in it so let's let's just see how it is i got three i got like i got six of the one the serum blushes from ColourPop. so um and i'm pretty sure they're all they're all gonna be good <laughs> i'm pretty sure of that so I'm just excited to get them. 
All right, and this one is Callie Dream. Ooh, she's pretty. So it's a little light for my skin, but honestly, I don't hate it. So remember when I was talking about the Tower 28, um, some of their new shades that they have? So this one's kind of like that one that I said will be good for people with lighter skin, but like now that I see it on myself, if you do have like tan to medium skin, I would definitely get this because I like that it gives you like a nice like flush look, especially after you sheer it out just by tapping it in. It gives you a nice flush look. So yeah, I'm a fan. Ooh, okay. Sorry, just thought of something. I'm gonna do. I might mix Cali Dream and Sandy Cheeks. I might. We'll see. Okay, so now I'm going to put it on. So I'm just gonna borrow this. All right, wish me luck because I don't have my mirror there to like see if my camera's still going. Oh, I could just grab my Fenty. Will that work? No? It's very short. It won't work. I tried. You saw I tried. Anyway. So my battery doesn't give out. <laughs> Alright, so I'm actually gonna go in with a... Do I want to do my fingers or do I just want to do a blush brush? Okay, so I'm just gonna like go in with my fingers first. And I'm just gonna tap it into my skin just a little bit. Look at me, trying to look cute. Got this long hair. It's like in my way. So I'm just gonna tap it in with my finger. Now, I do have like a gel filter over my face light, so, and it's, I made like a peach color with two gel filters, so it may be a little, a little bit difficult just to see on this side what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this just to diffuse color a bit so it does feel really good on the skin it blends in really well yeah I like this oh that's cute yeah okay so this is adorable I freaking love this Yeah, I, okay, <laughs> I, I really like this. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with Cali Dream. If I can open it. Gotta make sure my camera's still going. Sorry guys, you're gonna see me do that a lot because I don't have my mirror there. And again, I haven't figured out how to stop my camera from turning off, so yeah. You're gonna see that. NordVPN, why are you open? Ugh, no one asked for you. I don't want to connect to the server. Ma'am? Okay. So my fiance just fixed my computer and it's the touch screen on it's been like doing its own thing. I swear, my computer is like freaking haunted. It's weird. Here we go. So yeah, the touchscreen is like, it's all messed up. I couldn't tell you why it is. I think he did something to it. I don't know. I don't get. When it comes to like software, I understand that. But anything like hardware wise, I, I'm terrible at that stuff. I'm never good. I've never been good at that. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to ask him like, what the hell is going on? Because that's been driving me crazy. Like, it's especially when I'm in the middle of like typing up a script or like, um, like editing videos. It'll, for some reason, it's only. See? Okay, so for some reason, it's only like the, the left side of the screen that does it. Like, the right side is fine. 
it was a site that broke that's just like I'm just gonna touch every single thing that's on the left side of the screen and open up different tabs and open up different things on, on my friggin desktop it drives me crazy um, if anyone has an HP touchscreen laptop um, help me <laughs> I'm I'm desperate for help please help me this is a living nightmare I don't know what's going on I think it's ghosts whatever I don't like it help me okay camera's still gone yeah so I think this is adorable I really like this okay so we're gonna go ahead and do the other side so I'm gonna go in with the same two shades again I'm probably just I'm not gonna film this portion because who the hell cares Oh my god, my lip glue is like, <laughs> it's not sticking the way I want it to. And yes, I am wearing the same wig I wore in my last video. Don't judge me, it's, it's like what, 3am? Yeah, it's 3am. I will do whatever I want. Okay, so, yeah, I, so far, I, it's hard to tell, um, it's hard for it to show up because I do have my ISO turned up because it is kind of dark in my room, even with my lights, and I didn't want to, like, overwatch my video like I did in my Valentine's Day video. That was, oh my god, I was like, why did I turn my studio lights, like, all the way up to the max? I didn't know, like, just how much that affected the video quality and everything so um yeah i apologize for that overly washed out video um my lighting has gotten better i hope that this video um is good <laughs> so yeah if feel free to roast me in the comments i don't care i'm i'm still learning how to do this so if you have any tips or like criticism on like how to fix my video and everything just please let me know i am desperate to know these things um, yeah, just just let me know. Just drop a comment. You know, just make me aware of my mistakes because I have sinned in the world of videography. It's all, it's all good. I accept that. Anyway, so back to the blush. It feels good. I don't feel it being like heavy at all on my skin, which is one thing that I don't like with some blushes, especially like cream blushes. They can often be pretty weighty. And yes, I am putting this on my nose because I look, I like putting blush on my nose. It's just really cute. Um, yeah, this, I like that it kind of gives you like a dewy finish, but it doesn't feel oily or heavy. So I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. I'm going to order more. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you're interested in like the melt cream blushes, get them. You're not going to regret them. They look good. They feel good. It gives you that like nice radiance to your skin if you're looking for something that's like super easy to put on during summertime and I need to do like a wear test during the day especially like since we're wearing masks and everything and as soon as the weather gets warmer I know last week here it was like we had a lot of days in like the high 60s and 70s so those would have been good if I had them on those days but I didn't have them on those days um, but yeah, I, I'm gonna do a wear test outside. Um, I'm trying to think what's the best, it's like I might do, since my fiance lives in the mountains, um, I might just bring them there and like do a wear test there, like if we just go out somewhere, just to see how like it feels on my skin in that type of climate. Um, I might do a day out in like the city, just to see like what's going on there and how like it feels on my skin, just being in like a more urban environment with like um higher pollutants in the air uh so yeah we'll see how that goes um i love this so far i i love how it looks i think that's like the part that's just kind of sorry i'm just like gonna admire myself in the mirror for a second um yeah i love how it looks <laughs> it looks so good like i'm not gonna this is like beautiful yeah i love this this is my mm. I just ordered a bunch of- I need to do like a ranking video of my blushes because I have so many blushes. 
Um, but so far, as far as like my cream blushes, oh my god. This actually feels drier than the Tower 28s. Like, you know, I was talking about like they don't feel like really sticky on the skin. This feels like more dry than those. It's like a dry oil. I think that's what I like the most about them is that they don't get like super cakey. They swatch really well. Um, I am a little concerned because like I just took them off my wrist and it was pretty easy just to like get them off with just this cotton swab. So there might be some transfer issues just if you're, I don't know, <laughs> especially with wearing masks, like you, you might have some transfer issues. So that's another thing that I have to come back and let you guys know after my wear test. Um, but so far this is like, this is gorgeous. Ugh. I just know it's like a big chunk of mascara under my eye. I'm wearing the Chanel mascara. It's supposed to be like waterproof. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You okay, no more flakes, good. Anyway, so yeah, I, I really do, I love this. I think it's great, it looks cute. You know, I'm gonna finish this off with some freckles. We're gonna do some freckles. So this is the Lottie London um, freckle tint. This is the freckle tint that I use like anytime you see me on Instagram, which I will link my social medias down here if you wanna follow me on there. I'm more active on Twitter and Instagram than I am on any other platform. So definitely follow me down there. I was thinking about like starting like a TikTok account because I do, I do nails and stuff like that. And I want to kind of show what people can do. Like I learned how to do my nails last year around July. That's when I first started doing this. And like the progress that I've made from then to now is insane. So I just ordered a bunch of new nail stuff because you know, um, we all got our stimmies. So yeah, I'm rich. No one can talk to me. Um, yeah, so I got a new bunch of new nail stuff. I also ordered a new wig from a company that I've never ordered from before. So I think I'm going to film a video also just like reviewing that just to see how it is because like ugh, sometimes I, I get all my wigs from AliExpress. Like I have to say out of all the wigs that I own and I own like 20 wigs, this is like my favorite one. And I got this, oh my God, let me look at that company because they actually don't have it in stock anymore. I've I've been trying to rebuy this like every time I go on their website. Um, it didn't come in this color. It actually came in blonde. This is a full lace wig if you're wondering about that so I can like I can part it in any direction I can put it up in a bun I can wear it in like space buns and stuff like that so and it's only 16 inches but it's I feel like it's a little bit longer I feel like it's almost like 18 hold on let me find this because this is like they don't sell it anymore but they do sell like alternatives so yeah so this is from Alley Queen it's Alley Queen official store. So if you go there, um, check out their wigs because I love this. It it doesn't shed. It feels really good. <laughs> the hair is like nice and natural. It dies really easily because um, this was like, ooh, cat hair. This was a 613, so it came like fully blonde. Um, and so I used some Adore hair dye and I put it, I did the, um, the watercolor method. So you just get like a bucket full of like hot water straight from the tap, you don't have to heat up any water with a kettle or anything. Um, you just put your dye in, mix it up, soak your wig in there for about like five to 10 minutes, depending on the type of, um, what is it, color payoff that you want. So I did this for about 10 minutes and the color just came out like this and it's literally perfect. Um, yeah, go get a wig, it's really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my look. So I'm gonna turn off the camera. Actually, no, I'm not gonna turn off the camera. I'm just gonna finish my look right here because why not this freckle tint is like really easy I don't know if you guys have like used a freckle tint before but all you have to do is just you know just meticulously place your freckles this is so I'm so used to doing this without thinking about like how to show how to properly do this so it's a little awkward having my mirror at an angle as opposed to it just being like right in front of me. So yeah, I like to go up the nose and I know this looks kind of, it looks kind of ridiculous because you know, 
it's just kind of everywhere and it's really random and it also looks like super, you know, concentrated on the areas that I'm putting it. But you'll see once I finish doing it, how it looks once you shear them out. So one thing about like doing freckles is that, I mean, I'm pretty sure like most of you already know this. One, don't get it on your wig hair. That's rule number one, just don't do that. And two, it's good to just like, think of them as like actual freckles, like space them out a bit, put them in places where you think that natural freckles would fall. Don't cluster them in too many areas unless you want that look. Which it will, and again, don't get it on your wig hair. God, I say that as I keep getting it on my wig hair. Then you just go ahead and just blend them out with your finger. And so yeah, it's hard to tell because again, cameras. But yeah, that's how you do, if you want to do like faux freckles, um, that's how you do that. So I got this again from Lottie London. I know that Ulta sells this. I got mines from, from Dolls Kill before I realized that they are an awful company. Um, but they also have it on their, their website if you want to check that out on Lottie London's website. And you can also check out their Instagram page. I'll have that stuff linked down below if you want to get this product. Um... But it wasn't that expensive. I want to say it was like maybe five or six bucks. And like, I know Freck is a little bit more pricey. I think Freck is like either 16 or 17. Um, you can correct me down in the comment section if I'm wrong, which I'm probably wrong. <laughs> but I know that this one was like really cheap when I got it. And it does the same thing. Now, I'm not a fan of the color pops their freckle pen i hate that thing i wish i could return it i can't because you know their return policy sucks that thing is the worst freckle faux freckle thing i've ever used like it's literally the worst and i used to use like those um what is it those liquid eyebrow pens i used to use a mac one to do faux freckles and that one was better than using that trash one for color pop yeah, it's trash, but whatever. I'm wearing a ColourPop palette today. I'm actually wearing two of their palettes. I'm wearing Coast Coral and Going Coconuts. So I'm wearing two of their palettes today. So yeah, I, I feel like I earned the right to talk a little bit of trash about them. Because I'm, I'm not a fan of, their, fan of their freckle tint. Their freckle tint sucks. I don't know what it does. It's just, it makes your skin look weird. I don't know what it is. Like, if you've ever gotten, like magic marker on your hands like when you were a kid and especially like the brown ones and the black ones like it just always when it starts fading it starts turning that disgusting like bluish color that also leans kind of gray that's what it looks like on the skin I don't know why I noticed that they kind of haven't been advertising it as much as they used to like whenever they have like their you know groundbreaking products that everyone's going nuts about including them um, they always seem to like really push that in everyone's face like every two seconds but for some reason as we all know because I just said it yeah their freckle tint is terrible it's so bad and it's it's weird I don't know what what it is about Colourpop but like when something doesn't go the way they planned it like the way they marketed it like it seems to kind of get like pushed pushed to the back burner and kind of swept under the rug I've noticed that like, whenever they have their products that are like, oh my god, this is amazing, you know, it's it's revolutionary, it's awesome, they just, like, shove that in people's faces, like, 24-7, and it's, it's kind of annoying. But whenever they have products that they know are just straight-up mediocre or trash, like, they tend to go, eh, we didn't do that, we didn't make that, that doesn't exist. And I get it. You know, you don't want to put your underperforming products to the forefront, you kind of want people to pretend like, we all have selective amnesia and, that, and it didn't exist. But at the same time, as a person who still owns that stuff, I'm like, hey, could you guys like fix it? Like, could you go like, hey, um, so I know this is terrible. I know it didn't work for most people. I know it sucks. But could you, could you fix it? Like, could you 
could you just straight up just discontinue it? Like, don't sell it on your website anymore. I know this sounds crazy because, like, I don't think any company would do that because it's such a financial loss. Like, they will lose so much money if they were to just pull all that inventory and, like, destroy it or whatever or just, like, give it away. Like, you can actually just give it away for free um, with a purchase. Like, just do it as a gift for purchase. Like, if you spend, I don't know, like, $25, like, $15 or whatever, you get a free freckle pen. That's all you have to do is just, just give it away, okay? Give it away, come back with a new formulation, and then let's see how it performs. Because it's terrible. It's so bad. And I prefer this. That was like $5 over that. <laughs> so, sorry, that got, that turned to a rant. That turned to a weird little rant, and I wasn't expecting it to turn to a rant. Um, anyway, this is supposed to be just me reviewing products, not me talking about stuff I hate. Um, which I feel like I already do a lot, so let me not get into that. Let me not be so negative at 3.48 in the morning. Good lord, why am I up late? Anti-who, I'm gonna go ahead and tap that in. And yeah, that's my finished look. I'm I'm done. I already did my powder and stuff earlier, so I'm not gonna like put more powder on top of it since this does have more of a dewy type finish. And I just wanted to show you guys how it looked. Yeah, I'm just gonna like kind of lean in a bit just so you can kind of see it a bit more. Yeah, I think it's I think it's really cute. It's hard, it's really hard to see because I have my my ISO turned all the way up but I'll I'll ad <laughs> good lord yeah I'll adjust the color um when I edit um but yeah I hold on it's like the most this is this video is built off chaos and I'm okay with it so yeah I I love this product I think it feels really good I still have to do a wear test so I'll come back to you with that let me turn this off um and that's basically today's video it's kind of impromptu, but I wanted to make a review since I got them yesterday, as in Monday, not today, which is Tuesday for me right now at least. Um, and I was just really excited, so I wanted to guys see how it is. Um, I also ordered, as per, hold on, da, da, da. W M Patrick Mars. Yes, you are amazing. I like that you comment on my videos. I appreciate that. Um, so I ordered the blue milk chalk stick and also the green one. So I ordered those two and they should be coming in pretty soon. So I will do another review with those as soon as I get them because, again, I was wrong. <laughs> I was so wrong. They're really good. I love them. Um, I'm going to get even more. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why. I tend to buy things in threes or like sixes. I either go like... Let me, that's weird. I'm a weird person. <laughs> I'm like, let me get some of them or let me get all of them. I, I don't make any sense when I buy stuff. Um, that's just the makeup goblin in me that just wants me to spend all my money. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm going to end today's video. Thank you again for joining me here on the channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you want more content like this or my other like horror content, which I'm still working on my video for the next episode of Hometown Horror. Make sure to follow me on social media. I have my Instagram and my Twitter linked out here. Make sure you follow me on those. And I will see you guys next time, hopefully with more products. Because, um, yeah, the mail's moving kind of slow and I'm getting really impatient. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me here on the channel. And, again, I appreciate you. I love you. And I will see you next time. Bye.